Hey everybody, it's Dr. Miami here. Let's talk butts. Specifically the difference between fat transfer slash Brazilian butt lifting, butt implants, and injections of foreign substances into the butt to make it bigger. So those are three separate ways of reforming your shape and giving you more booty. We'll start with the way I prefer to do it, which is the Brazilian butt lift or fat transfer. That's where I liposuction fat from areas of your body, of your body that you don't want it, like your love handles, your tummy, your back, your arms, thighs. And then we take that fat, we isolate it, we put antibiotics into it, and we inject it into your booty and sculpt it. It's your own natural fat, so it's soft, it grows with you. If you get fatter, it gets bigger. If you lose weight, it gets smaller. It's living, warm, breathing, living fat cells of your own body, okay? There's no chance your body could, quote unquote, reject it. It's your own stuff. Now, second way to do it is with a butt implant. They're like breast implants, but for your butt. Now, breast implants work fantastically because your breasts, they're basically ornaments. Unless you're breastfeeding, you just gotta sit there and look nice. You don't sit on them, you don't walk with them. But implants that go into your butt, remember your butt moves around when you walk, you sit on it, it can be uncomfortable. And uh, if the butt implants are too big, they can even extrude through the skin and, and then they have to come out and it can really, really be quite deforming. So butt implants are not without risk. Um, but in some, plate, some people who don't have enough fat in their body for fat transfer, butt implants might be your only option. Certainly better than, than some of the other things that are out there, which brings me to those last, com the last category, which is injecting foreign materials into the butt. I do not advocate that way of doing things. Now, there are some safe things to inject, like hyaluronic acid that lasts about a year. Uh, the problem is that the amount that you need to inject safely, you know, to make a difference, uh, costs, you know, maybe $25,000, dollars $40,000 for just a year's worth of hyaluronic acid to stay in there. Anything that's permanent that you inject into the butt is fraught with danger because when you put the foreign material into the butt and it's not something that will dissolve, if it's permanent, then your body knows it's not part of it and it makes like a wall of inflammation around it. And in many cases, the butt can get hard, it can get red, inflamed, painful, infected. And that's if you inject like normal stuff. But some people out there, you know, illegally inject, you know, fix a flat or motor oil or some kind of non-medical grade silicone and can lead to real, real problems. I'm sure you've seen all that on the internet, you know, like uh, butt nightmares. So those are the three ways of making the butt bigger. Now, Brazilian butt lifting is not without risk. It needs to be done by a trained professional who knows the areas to avoid and how to do it safely. Uh, because if you inject the fat in the wrong place, that can also be a big, big problem. So um, choose your surgeon carefully, but at least now you have an understanding between the three ways of making the butt bigger. Fat transfer, Brazilian butt lift, butt implants, and foreign substances injected into the booty.